Hello friends, welcome to this fourth session and in this session uh, we will discuss instructional activities in MA education program. Uh, in this induction program of MA education already we have uh, you know uh, taken three sessions. In first session we have discussed about the very objectives and uh, program framework, program structure of MA education and in the second session we have discussed the very concept that are being addressed in different courses of MA education program and in third session dedicatedly we have discussed about the operational issues of pursuing dissertation course, how you will pursue the dissertation course and uh, how you will prepare a research proposal and uh, how you will write the dissertation report and where to submit it, how it will be evaluated. Okay, so, that we have already discussed and what support uh, is provided to the learners for pursuing the dissertation work. And in this session particularly we will discuss the instructional activities in MA education program. Many a time you ask question that uh, uh, how you will pursue uh, this program, how you will proceed uh, in your study. Just like in face to face system after admission what you do, you visit your, you go to your uh, uh, colleges or the universities, your teachers take the classes. But here as you are acquainted with the conventional system of teaching and learning process, here in, in open and distance learning system in OTL system. Uh, <coughs> you are supposed to understand that uh, how teaching and learning process are conducted in distance then accordingly how you will cope with the situation for gaining better benefits uh, uh, from the system. Everything is there you will get a dedicated uh, uh, or you can say well uh, uh, designed quality learning materials and how you will study it, how, how you will go through it and whenever you are getting any difficulties how to solve those difficulties and how uh, you will come contact with uh, your counsellor with your tutor for solving different problems. So, keeping in consideration of the nature of queries that you ask that how you will proceed in this program one uh, session has been included in this induction program that is an instructional activities in MA education program. So, what are the different activities that you supposed to do? Uh, uh, starting from the very beginning of your program till completion of your program. Just very briefly to focus upon as uh, you know we have already discussed that uh, the program is designed in four different groups. Uh, the program framework is in four different groups. Group A that is on basic course on education, group B that is on core courses, group C is courses on knowledge generation in education and group D is specialized areas in education. We have already discussed that what are the different courses are there in different groups. Further in first year 34 credits you have to study and second year also 34 credits you have to study. In first year 6 different courses are there MES 011, 012, 013, 014, 015 and 016. First course is of 4 credit then another five courses that is from MES 12 to MES 16, six credit each. So, accordingly 34 credits you have to study in the first year of your program and in second year of your program five elective areas are there. You have to select any one elective area and you will get 24 credit courses from that area. It may be higher education, distance education, educational management, educational technology or adult education along with one dissertation course is there. We have discussed in the last session about different aspect of dissertation course. I will pursue this dissertation course. This is a compulsory course of 10 credits. So, accordingly 34 credits, one dissertation 10 credit and one specialized area 24 credits, 34 credits you have to study in the second year of your program. And now let me to focus upon the instructional system, the instructional process what uh, you supposed to do. As you know that uh, we provide a quality self learning material, a complete package of self learning material for your program. Okay. It may be theory courses, it may be dissertation or this the courses under specialized areas. So, here you see print self learning material is, uh, is being sent to the learners through speed post directly from the MPDD. MPDD is the material production and development division. So, this is a dedicated unit, uh, dedicated division that take care of development of learning materials and uh, as per the learner's database 
after your admission, after confirmation of your admission, it may take a little time, they sent the SLM of the courses directly to your home address through speed post. I think you must have received it and if you have not received, you can write to MPDD uh, to get your material. And 15% uh, rebate is there if the learners opt for a soft copy of the material. And if you have opt the soft copy of the material, you must have received a mail with a link of different uh, you know uh, courses. Okay. So, there you can download uh, your uh, uh, SLM, your units and blocks of your course and you can study. And at the same time, <coughs> you know all the courses, the soft copy material of the courses, the SLMs are also available in e course, okay. So, what you can do, you can go through it in e course and you can download the self-learning material which is available in e course. Here you see, I have just shared the link here, soft copy of the materials can be accessed and uh, downloaded from the e course portal of IGNU in the following link. You can use this link and you can download the self-learning material, the soft copy of the self-learning material for your study and uh, soft copy material can also be access, uh, uh, accessed from IGNU student app. You can use the IGNU student app in your uh, smartphone and you can also go through the self-learning material. You will find there is the link, there is the system is there, you can get the self-learning material. So, what I mean to say, uh, you are asking that how you will proceed in your study after confirmation of your enrollment as uh, <clears throat> now, admission process uh, has been completed for January 2023 session. You must have received the material. So, now you are supposed to read the material. You are supposed to go through uh, different units uh, uh, in blocks of a course. Okay? And uh, uh, whenever you get any difficulties, you can just note down that where, uh, uh, where are the difficulties, what is the meaning of it and when the regional center when the study centers, your concerned study center will conduct counseling sessions, you can discuss with those difficulties that you have already noted with your counselors and you can clarify those difficulties. So, in this way, continuously, it is a continuous process as books are with you, the SLM materials are with you. So, whenever you get time uh, at your home, at your job field, okay, at your office, whenever you get time, you are supposed to go through it. As I have already said that in the first year, six different courses are there, MES 011 to 016. So, one by one you are supposed to read it and identify, you should understand the concept and in if any difficulties you can note down it, further that you can clarify it in counseling sessions. And uh, you also ask question that when you, when you can appear the examination. Let me to say in first year six different courses are there. Okay. So, if you have enrolled in January 2023 session, so after one year, that means in December, you will eligible to appear for the tournament examination in December 2023. So, that is why, so within this time, within this time of one year starting from January to December, you are supposed to go through all these theory courses that are included in the first year. You have to write the assignment. I will be discussing further that how you will write the assignment. And, uh, uh, you will fill the examination form, I think that is in the month of September and October for appearing term and examination in December 2023. Okay. Uh, we practice this term and examination twice in a year, that is in June and December. As you have taken admission in January 2023, you are not eligible to appear term and examination in June 2023 because you have not completed one year. So, you will complete it one year by December 2023. So, that is why first exam first year exam, you will be eligible to appear in December only. And further important activities that we do, that is the induction program. Just like being the program coordinator uh, for the January 2023 sessions, I am taking uh, this induction program uh, through teleconferencing, just to reach at you at your home place. Okay? You might be watching in YouTube or you might be watching in DTH, in television, in Gyandarshan channel 1. Uh, uh, from your home. Okay. But at the same time, induction sessions are also being conducted by the regional centers. Okay. They will also invite you, you will get mail or it, uh, you will get phone call and information is also available in IGNU regional center website. You are supposed to, you should develop a habit to go through the website. It may be the IGNU main campus website 
or your concerned regional center website. Time to time you will find many information. It may be related to assignment, it may be related to tournament examination, it may be related to how to submit the assignment okay? and it may be related to counseling sessions relating to uh, induction program. So, all such information you will get in website and uh, regional center will also or the concerned study center also send letter to the students, mail to the students and inform to the students. And I request all our learners uh, the facilities that are being provided by IGNU, you are supposed to take the benefit of it. If counseling sessions are conducted, turn out to the counseling sessions, meet to the counselors with your doubts and resolve your doubts. Then you will find that uh, you, you will enjoy your study, you will not find any difficulties. But, but if you will not follow the instructional activities, the instructional process and at the 11th hour if you will read the material for just appearing the uh, term and examination definitely you will find difficulties accordingly the dissertation work also. So, that is why being a student you just ask yourself your school days, you just ask yourself that how you pursue your education at the school stage. So, regularly you have to construct yourself, regularly you have to uh, engage yourself uh, in studies. Okay? It may be a practical course or it may be a theoretical course. So, accordingly you have to develop a good study habit in open and distance learning system also in a distance education system also as already you have received uh, a quality uh, learning material. So, that is why uh, uh, the material is in your hand. So, that is why it is your work to go through it and to understand the concept and in case there is the problem you are writing to me, you are writing to the program coordinator, we are, we are always with you to solve your difficulties. You can write to me also, I will share my number, I will share my mail ID. Okay, you can write a mail to me, you can make a telephone call to me, uh, to your regional center, to your study center also for solving your difficulties. So, friends induction program are conducted at the concerned regional center or at the study centers, you are supposed to attend it to know that what, what are the different things that you are supposed to do during your students period for completing the program. Then further induction program is also now being conducted from the main campus online through Facebook live and teleconferencing. Then another instructional activity is the counseling session. I have already discussed that uh, there is the provision of counseling sessions. Though attending counseling sessions are not compulsory, but I request all uh, our learners definitely attend the counseling sessions when you are getting a schedule of counseling from the study center. So, that is the place where you can directly uh, uh, interact with the counselor, with the teachers and with the materials. Okay, the SLM is in your hand, so directly you can uh, interact with the counselor about certain problem, about certain aspect, about certain content point if you are getting certain difficulties. So, let me to focus upon in counseling session what you have to do, counseling sessions are conducted from the concerned study center or from a nodal study center by combining few study centers. So, you will get proper information from the study center that when they are going to conduct the counseling sessions. So, mostly counseling sessions are conducted on holidays, long holidays or you can say on Saturday and Sundays. Okay? After getting the schedule of counseling, you are supposed to attend the counseling and, and uh, you know your study center code as well as study center address. It might be uh, at your nearby uh, uh, in any college or the university. You are supposed to get some time, find some time and visit your study center talk with the coordinator of the study center and many things will be clear when you will visit. As a student, I think you are supposed to visit. Yes, they will send you the schedule, but many a time find some time and visit for pursuing your work. Few important uh, sessions relating to dissertation etcetera are also organized online from the main campus through teleconferencing. I have already said that counseling sessions are kept for theory courses as well as for the dissertation course also. As dissertation is a practical oriented course, many a time learners face certain difficulties in pursuing their dissertation. So, that is why counseling uh, session provisions are also there for dissertation course. So, that is why you are supposed to uh, attend uh, the counseling sessions that are being included for the dissertation course also. You can also access the recordings of the teleconferencing sessions in IGNU MA education learners. Facebook group. 
here you see i have shared the link of uh, igno ma education learners facebook group i think more than 5000 learners have joined in this group i request all our learners definitely joined in this group time to time you will find information you will find uh, uh, the links just like today induction program i am taking the induction program you will find uh, you know uh, the, the recording of the live sessions uh, uh, you will find in the archive of uh, empc ignu uh, youtube channel and uh, that also i can make you available in this group in ignu ma education learners facebook group and today i found to know that uh, uh, you know a facebook live uh, page is also linked with uh, this teleconferencing sessions and uh, the recording versions also you will get in the facebook okay so that's why take the benefit of it the sessions that we are taking from here if if you have not attended now definitely go through the recording versions of it and definitely be a member of igno ma education uh, facebook group and this is a group of Facebook account of School of Education in the Raganthi National Open University, when you will go through uh, the Facebook uh, uh, page, Facebook account of School of Education IGNU, you will find that there is a group. That group is MA Education Group. So, be a part, be a member of that group, so that regularly, continuously you will engage with in different uh, activities and at the same time you will get timely information about assignment, about tournament examination, about teleconferencing sessions about IRC and other types of video lessons also you will get. Now, online sessions through teleconferencing. You see, I am taking today induction uh, sessions and uh, every month you will find two to three sessions I take on different aspects of your program. It may be certain theoretical concept of conducting research of uh, different courses that you have studied in your MA education program. And uh, particularly, most of the sessions I take from educational research because uh, research further help you to pursue the dissertation work, to do it a research project. Uh, online uh, sessions through teleconferencing is supposed to go through it. You can access live teleconferencing sessions in EMPC IGNU YouTube channel. This is the link. You can, you can go through this link. You can subscribe this channel so that you can get the notification when there will be a live session okay and uh, uh, you can go through the live session of your uh, of your own interest it may be related to your program particularly in ma education and many a time you will also get teleconferencing sessions on different other issues other titles of education Edge School of Education offers 14 different programs, okay, starting from certificate to PhD level. So, that is why every month you will find relating to different aspect of education, different areas of education, faculty members that take uh, uh, teleconferencing sessions. So, if you will subscribe this YouTube channel, you will get a notification and from your mobile phone you can go through it. And if you are at home, then definitely you are supposed to watch uh, teleconferencing sessions in Gyandarshan TV channel number 1. Further, you can access the recordings of the teleconferencing sessions on IGNU MA Education Learners Facebook group, I have already said. So, you are supposed to be the member of this IGNU MA Education Learners Facebook group. So, I handle this group, I manage this group, I am the admin. So, I provide information for your benefits and uh, for smoothly pursuing your program. Then now let me to focus upon the assignment. 30 percent weightage is given to assignment. Every theory course is having a compulsory component of assignment. Three questions have to be attempted from each course with 500 words in a limitation of each of the question. Assignment questions are from the concerned courses and covers questions of understanding, application and critical analysis type. Assignment questions can be downloaded from the students, uh, students zone of IGNU website. I have just shared the link. If you go through the IGNU website www.ignu.ac.in, you will find one link is there that is student zone. And if you go through student zone, you will find download. So, there you can also download the assignment questions. So, 30 percent weightage is given to assignment questions. You have to write uh, your assignment responses in 500 words to uh, each question. Three questions are there in a course, so 1500 words you have to write in. And questions uh, will be from 
understanding application and critical analysis type. So, many a time what the learners do they just uh, 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 write the answer as per the learning material self learning material that they have received you, you need not do that. What you can do you read it understand it and write it in your own language ok. You will get a better grade of it do not copy it from the self learning material. And uh, for the submission of the uh, assignment where you have to submit the assignment. Assignment is submitted at the concern study center in hard copies or soft copies. You supposed to go through the regional center uh, website and you will find detailed information about how to submit the assignment uh, responses. During the uh, corona crisis soft copy of the assignment are also submitted at the concern regional center. I think now learners are submitting the hard copy of the assignment uh, response assignment question responses at the concerned study center. You are requested to access the assignment submission online link if given in the regional center website. Last date of submission of assignment is 30th September for appearing the December tournament examination and 31st March for appearing the June tournament examination as you have enrolled in January 2023 session. So, that is why by 31st uh, by 30th September 2023 you supposed to submit all your assignment course wise assignment at your concerned study center for appearing term and examination that will be conducted in December 2023 ok. Unless you submit the assignment uh, you cannot uh, uh, appear the term and examination. So, that is why go through the time schedule uh, as per the regional center website the information that you will get then accordingly submit your assignment. Now, let me to focus upon the term and examination 70 percent weightage is given to term and examination as per IGNU practice term and examination is conducted during June and December every year. Online registration for term and examination starts usually in April or May for a June term and examination and October or November for December term and examination. Learners enrolled in January 2023 session are eligible to appear December 2023 term and examination for the first year program. Accordingly for the second year program when you will be in the second year that means your session will be January 2024 ok. So, second year exam that is the uh, specialized course exam you will be eligible to appear in December 2024 ok. You can also get the previous year term and examination questions paper you can download it from this link that is in student zone you should go through the download section and from there you can find out the previous year term and examination question. I have shared here the link ok uh, web services dot ignu dot ac dot in slash pre question. So, here you can get the previous year questions and uh, that will help you for preparing your examination and you can understand that what type of questions come. So, just for the information uh, here in term and examination you will find four questions ok. First question is uh, you have to write within 600 words this is long answer type questions having an internal choice. Second question is also a long answer types of questions with an internal choice and third question you will find this is short answer type question total six options will be given and you have to write any four ok and each question will be of 150 words and fourth question that also you have to write within 600 words it is a long answer types of question and no internal choice will be given in the fourth question. So, accordingly in all the theoretical courses four questions you will get first question long, second question long answer type, fourth question long answer type, internal choice will be in first and second but not in fourth and in third question it is short answer type question total six options will be given and any four you have to attempt in short answer type question 150 uh, will be the world limit. And for academic support you can write to Dr. Nirod Kumar Das, he is the program coordinator of MA education, I have shared the telephone number as well as mail id and I have also shared my telephone number and mail id you can also contact. And uh, for other support if it is relating to registration and enrollment you can contact student registration division, if it is different information you can go through IGNU website, then regional center website. If it is related to evaluation or certification you can write to students evaluation division and regional center. If it is related to material you can write to MPDT and regional center and if it is related to dissertation regional center and study center. And of course, you can write 
to us anytime when you will find any difficulties. I have shared my mail ID niradhar at ignu.ac.in. I have shared my uh, intercom number and ignu MA education Facebook group link I have shared, YouTube link that is transforming education I have also shared here you can be a member of it and you will find many uh, videos relating to your MA education program and that will help you for pursuing your uh, program in a proper way. So, friends, we have completed four different uh, sessions on different aspects of your MA education program. I wish you all that happily you will continue your study and uh, in a proper way uh, uh, you will engage yourself in studies and you will complete your program in right time. Thank you.